420 that we've created our own time. The Surgeon General has claimed that every cigarette you smoke lessens your life line by 10 minutes. So you find people who smoke by taboo that's for life than 20 years. So the time is determined by your actions and your reaction to life. You determine the time of your death by your, the way you live your life. And so every night before you go to sleep, you're actually preparing for death. Because when you sleep, you go, you, you die, you die for that day. And then when you wake up back in the morning, that's a new life. So that's there. It's a form of death also. Because technically when you go, go to sleep, or when you die, you really go into, you feel like you're going to sleep. You know? So death comes with what you call sleep. So to prepare for a guaranteed prediction like death, you want to make sure that you get, live the longest time on earth because to have this body, to have the experience of the body is a, is a, is a gift of God. And so um, you have to understand what creates your death is what you call karma or action and reaction. So if somebody says, well, you know, that person died because he, um, he um, walked across the street drunk and a car hit him. Who created that debt? He created it because he, he drank. Or that person died because he, he, he ate too much fast food or too much cholesterol food and that would kill him. There's also in our Hinduism that you die when you marry to the wrong person. We just had a case here where if you get married to the wrong person, you die early in life. Usually it's a number nine marriage or something like that. If, a, if when, when a couple come up to a number nine marriage, death is um, closer to one of them. Uh, there's also death, for example, if um, someone dies in what you call untimely death and punch out, so that when, they, when that person died with an anger, when the soul is angry, that it didn't want to go, but it died suddenly and unfairly and quick, quickly, like accident, accidental deaths and so on. Those deaths, the souls want to take more people with them. So they try to take more people in the family with them. So in all of this knowledge of death, um, how can we make life better? And you can know that by knowing what you call how the universe works the universal birth and death of the universe. And so life moves up and down like a wave, like a cycle. And so like the seasons, you have spring, summer, you know, winter, autumn and winter and so on. So also is life. So this is also is your life. Like you have the seasons, like you have the um, the cycle, cycles of, of, of the weather and so on. So all that causes you to experience um, different types of death also, but also gets you prepared for it at some point. So if you, for example, um, do a lot of, for example, killing, uh, you don't um, benefit the universe in some way. You're not benefiting the universe. Your death is, is, is surely guaranteed very quickly. Okay, think of it this way. If you have a bacteria in your body that's bad, what do you do? You try to kill that bacteria. And so you have to get that bacteria out of your body quickly or else it will create um, uh, death for you. It will create new bad things for you. 
So imagine now if your body is the universe and the bacteria is, is, is that, that element, that identity of some, something, like you in the universe. So now if the bacteria is good, you will keep it because it helps to, you know, and you, know, you, you do that with yogurt. You eat yogurt to get the good bacteria in the stomach. Then, those, then back that bacteria, you will not try to get out of the body. Right? So it's the same thing now. In the, the, the universe is a living universe. And because it's a living universe, if the person who is doing something that's, that's going to go against the universe, the universe is going to make that person get destroyed very quickly. And if the person is doing something that's beneficial to the universe, then it keeps that person alive automatically. So what you might call luck is not really luck and bad luck. Is what's called blessings. Good blessings. They say, who, uh, who, whom God bless, no man, curse. So therefore, when you are, uh, when you are thinking of living a long time in this universe, find some way how you can benefit that universe. If you want to be rich, you want to be prosperous. It's how you help people, help the universe. So whatever you do, you must do it with great heart, great love. But there are what you call the cycles. And so, um, if you um, look at here, the cycles, and you will see uh, the top of the wave, right? The top of the wave here is um, what you call enjoyment, or the peak of your enjoyment. But I don't know if you have noticed it in life that sometimes when you're just about to enjoy everything, everything starts to go wrong. And that's where we come to the next cycle, which is six. That means that nothing lasts very long, isn't it? Everything lasts for a time. Everything has its own time. So when you begin from your life, when you begin that month or that year or that day or hour hour in that day and so on that's how your day will be we go to work fresh you all spruced up and everything and you go to work and then when you reach work you do you perform your work and you enjoy it in the first half of the day by the time you get to the second half of the day you start to get tired you know you start to get to um to wind down you know and so, um, you get, by that time you end your day, okay, and that's what the long part of the wave is. Now, if you take this for a year or for a month and things like that, you will see how karma begins to affect your life. For example, in the first part of your life, you get married and everything, you have children and everything, you enjoy life, and then comes responsibility. All the fun is gone. And you start to pay, you start to experience the responsibility and the status and so in life. So also is karma. In other words, if you enjoy good things here, you have to pay for it here. And so, where you see nine, you'll also see one, because right after death, new life begins again. So therefore you'll see now that a person will begin their cycle upward again. So now, life is like that, up and down. But the Lord says that if you want not to have any problems in life, you have to welcome these both of these down periods and up periods as equal. In other words, when there's distress, Welcome it. And when there is good uh, enjoyment, welcome it equally. That's why Pradeep sings the song, Sukha Dukha Dono Rehte Hai. It means that happiness and sadness are bodies. Happiness and sadness are on the same level. If you treat it like that and know that 